Hey, it's Dan and Jim, and we're back with another RoboZone Extra. We're going to talk about who we're going to see in week five of district competition in Power Up. 484 of our teams have played so far this year. We're going to see some final uh, people come out for these last rounds of competition in the next two weeks. Dan, who do we got at the Shepherd District? I'm actually surprised. We still have, what, that, that leaves a, a decent chunk of teams who haven't played yeah, yet. 21, week I think. Five. What, yeah, they're going to do week five and week six? Yep. And then if they make states week seven? Uh, that'll be a, uh, a blitz. Okay, that's too yep. much in a row for me, but if it works for your team. Uh, so let's go up to Shepard. Let's see what we got there. Uh, so in Shepard, or at Shepard, we got 74. Uh, so Team Chaos, Holland Public. Yeah. Uh, fresh off of a finalist appearance yep. at West Michigan. A, a nice upset there. They were the sixth seed. Took out the number two. Uh, 573, we haven't seen in quite a while. I think they played week Southfield, one. Southfield, week one. Southfield, and then we haven't seen them. And they were... Uh, Finalists there. Yeah, they have a double yeah. ramp, double ramp solution. Yeah, so. so it'll be interesting to see if they've made any improvements while waiting. 1506. Yeah, yeah. Uh, breaking out a little bit this year. They got a very solid robot. Yep. Um, 2054 was at West Michigan, and, and it was interesting to watch that robot there. It started off very slowly, um, but by the time the eliminations rolled around, they were starting to play the game well. So we'll yep. see if another week uh, gets them even farther along. Uh, 2959, the Robotarians has been strong. 3535, I think they were first pick actually at Kettering week one. Yep. So again, another team that's been out for a bit. We'll see if they can come back. Uh, 3572, also at West Michigan, it's Wavelength. They were playing yep. quite well there. Um, got a couple more. I like 5623. I think they were actually an Alliance captain at their first event, which is pretty good. Uh, 6100 was actually the number two Alliance captain yep. at, at Traverse City. So at that's, that's City. a strong team. So we'll see if that, uh, what, second year team? Yep. Third year team? Third year. Third year Third team. Year. We'll see if they can, uh, you know, keep building on their success. And our rookie here, 72-11, I think they were actually the third overall pick at Kettering. They made yep. it to the finals. Yeah, Team Hollywood. Um, just team absolutely Hollywood. destroying that vault, that portal, that, that exchange. So uh, a couple teams that I'm looking for. Okay. All right, we're going to move over to Livonia. Livonia is one of our big hitters for the coming week. Uh, lots of uh, well-known names going to Livonia. We're going to start off Team 27, Team Rush. Team Rush played once out of state in New York. Then they came back to Milford. They look pretty strong at Milford. Uh, uh, I'd look for great things from them. They got one of the only proven uh, double hangers, partner hangers, uh, that we're going to see at Livonia. So they stand a good chance of seeding really yeah, that's high. That's huge. That extra yes. ranking point, yeah. if you can really get huge. that every match. And there's really a remarkable shortage of quality partner mm -hmm. hangers in this whole sport this year, um, and, but it's instrumental to being one of the top seeds. Uh, 302 Dragons, uh, they got two wins. They got one out of state uh, in Indiana, I think, and then another one uh, just this past week. Um, where were they? Uh, West, uh, uh, Lansing. Lansing. They Lansing, Lansing, Lansing yep. during the blackout. Mm -hmm. They won during a blackout. All right, that's good. Um, uh, <laughs> Frog Force, again, Frog Force, this will be their third event. Again, they played out of state and they uh, they were at Milford. Uh, they look pretty solid at Milford and we're making improvements. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna look, uh, see Frog Force, legendary, you know, 10 time Chairman's Award winner. Expect great things from Frog Force. Uh, 548 Robostangs, look, they had a little bit of a rough start in, uh, in Milford, but they made the playoffs and uh, I expect to see them up their game. You know, they've been on Einstein before and uh, always always looking for them to do great mm -hmm. things. 1250 Gatorbots, always good. Uh, 2612 uh, Corsairs out of Waterford. Again, they look they looked pretty solid at um, at Milford. We're gonna see if uh, if they can up their game. They were actually practicing with us a couple days ago, so maybe we'll, the, some of those changes will work. Livonia Warriors, they had a little bit of a slow start, but they had a great year last year. So mm -hmm. they have a solid program. I expect them to make improvements. Uh, team 3414 Hackbots from Farmington. Farmington, mm -hmm. is that yeah, right? That's correct. Yep. Again. Uh, always like them. Uh, 3542 Team Speed. Uh, we have not seen them yet. They're one of these yeah. five, six teams. They've been laying in wait. Uh, they were really solid last year. Uh, I expected them to come out with a bang and look really good. Um, 3641 Flying Toasters. They got a win. Uh, mm -hmm. This will be their third event. They got a win last week. So uh, again, they should be a strong contender at Livonia. And finally, Cowtown Robotics 5050. Um, uh, and then there's a whole host of uh, higher ranked teams uh, in the 6,000s and 7,000s going. Yeah, that going team to list Livonia. really seems to me like there's a couple of event winners there in 302 yeah. and uh, 3641, the Toasters, yep. and a whole bunch of robots that if they up their game are going to be competitive. Yeah, so, so we'll it see. should be fun. Yeah, should be fun. Okay, we're moving back over to Troy. Tell us about Troy. Troy. We got plenty of good teams at Troy, it looks like. Um, 68. 
uh, off, to a, off to a pretty solid start. We'll see if they can pick it up. Uh, 70 more Martians. I actually haven't seen as much footage of them as 494, but uh, played, same robot, they right? They played so. Kettering week one, mm -hmm. I think, had a bit of a sh uh, soft start, but 494 looks great. They yeah. got a win and a finalist. Same mentors, same yeah, and robot. They were, and they work together, yeah, so they one of them together. is figuring out yeah. what, what they need to do to improve the robot. You yeah. know, they're communicating that, so uh, that'll be interesting. 245, uh, definitely up in our top 10. Two event wins. Double event wins. Um, if you win everything you play, it's, it's, it's hard not to be a favorite going into an event. Uh, we have 308, and actually their, their new sister yeah. team, maybe, that's yep. 7178, that's more monsters. You um, can have Martians and more bit. Martians, yeah, so you can have monsters and more why, monsters. Why not, why right? Not, so sure. both of them uh, looking pretty good so far. Uh, we'll see, 469, we'll see if Lost they can, uh, they've made some changes, some things broke at the last event. I know I heard yep. they're putting a new collector on, we'll see if that uh, change We've always known them fruit. to work hard, Dan. Yep, for yep. sure. So, so and 910 fully freeze. And they had three event wins last year. Yep. Uh, this is their second one. I believe it's their second. I, I think it's their year. second yeah, one. Yeah. Yep. So, um, 2337 engineer. So that's a team that I want to see. They went out uh, to St. Joe. St. Joe's um, got knocked out a little early in the tournament, but the robot looked good. So the robot looked a, really solid. Yeah. I think they did. They meet Strike Force in the semis. I think. I I'm think, not, I think I you think might so. be right. Yeah. yeah. So that's but, you know we'll see we'll see if they have uh, up their game a little bit more, but I think they can be competitive with what we've seen. Uh, Crevolution's going to be there, twenty eight fifty one. Uh, Biting Bulldogs, thirty five thirty nine. Again, they haven't played yet. I, I don't think. think they played yet, yeah. so I think they're a five six team. Yep. Right. Forty three sixty two gems. They won out of state in Ohio, I think. Yep. Um, and they were strong at Milford. Strong. Yeah. Yep. And and fifty four sixty strike yeah. zone. I think what was it uh, coming out in Stronghold. They had one of the one of my favorite shooters in Stronghold, and, um, and they've been pretty strong since Stronghold. Then. Yeah, I in think, Stronghold. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so definitely a strong team. They had a pretty good first event. So we'll yeah, see how they that goes. they were like one of the teams to beat, mm -hmm. I thought, at Milford. And uh, again, we played against them in the semifinals, but they yep. had a great solution, sure. great autonomous modes. Yeah. So my big question though for this event, 67 is here for their third event. They've got two finalists. Are they going to finally win? Uh, let's hope so. You know, they're not with the killer bees this time, so yeah. maybe they'll win. We'll see. <laughs> so. Definitely a deserving robot, but, you know, things happen. Exactly. Okay, moving on to my last event, if my notes were not disheveled. East Kentwood. We're going back over to the west side on East Kentwood. We're going to start off uh, some teams I want to see. D-Cubed coming off of a win already. Want to see D-Cubed. Uh, you know, they, they went all the way up north. They won with... Uh, Adam Bots, I mm -hmm. think, in Traverse City at was, their first one of the year. Traverse City or was it Escanaba? It was Escanaba. I think it was Escanaba. Yeah. You're right. They all run together in my head. <laughs> we got so many events. We got 26 events this year to keep track of and 500 team numbers. It's amazing. I don't just start, you know, just blathering numbers randomly. Okay. Like, NC like last Gears, week? Like, I yeah, did last like week? Last week. Yeah, okay. Exactly. <laughs> NC Gears, we have not seen them since week one. They went to Traverse City in didn't they? That is correct. That is correct. Yes. That is correct. So NC Gears, we haven't seen them. They're one of my top picks in week one. Uh, we haven't seen them in a couple weeks, so we're looking forward to seeing that. They have a great uh, triple hanging solution. Uh, should guarantee them to be one of the top seeds with all those extra RPs. Uh, Team Excel, 2474, mm -hmm. looking strong in their in their first one. Uh, your number one pick, of course, the legendary world champion, Team Strike Force 2767. Again, we have not seen them since their easy win in St. Right. Joe's. They looked really strong. Again, great buddy mm -hmm. hanger, great scoring ability, all around great robot, omnidirectional swerve drive. <laughs> Love it. Um, so yeah. looking, looking that, good. That group of three, 1918, 2474, and 26, uh, 2767, right? All played very early. I think it was yes. week one or week two yeah. for all of them. They all had good performances, and we haven't seen anything from them since. Yeah. So we might get surprised by how much they've been able to I do. I would in not the be surprised if they've all been hard at work mm -hmm. in the intervening weeks uh, to uh, to bring it forward. Uh, twenty seven seventy one. I don't think we've seen them yet, have we? I do not recall. I seeing do not them recall. Yeah. So um, I think. Uh, I think this may be their first outing, so they may be a 5-6 team. Uh, Mars Rovers played last week, uh, 4,004 uh, with 4,003. <laughs> Again, loss of 4,003, um, but uh, looking strong, Mars Team Mars Rovers. Uh, Benzene Bots mm -hmm. from International Academy, uh, strong showing last year. Uh, they played at Kettering a couple weeks ago, I think. I don't know. I don't think it together. was Kettering. I can't, okay. I can't remember which event they were at, though. Right. Yeah. So um, that one team, 
4967 looked really solid last year. I do not recall seeing them yet either, so I think this is their first one. I think it's their first event. Yeah, I think I it's their first earlier. event. Mm. And uh, that is my hit list for teams I'm looking forward to for East Kent. Well, we're going to be scouting everybody. We have a total of nine tournaments left this year, four of them in the upcoming week, five in the final week, six, <laughs> all leading up to our great state championship 160 teams out of our 508 teams are going to be going on to the state championship uh i'm looking forward to it it's going to be, going to be great as always mm -hmm. and i know you're looking at yep. the numbers you want to yep. you want to make an on-air prediction of what you think the state point cutoff is going to be uh on-air prediction it's right around 65 you know mm -hmm. we can give you the all we can do a math diatribe on this sometime mm -hmm. but last year it was six, with charts with graphs with charts graphs uh oh, yeah. binomial distributions oh, yeah. all kinds of things that we could we get do. a whiteboard in here whiteboard do some statistics um, but basically it goes like this is uh, last year the cut line was 60. We have more teams in the system and more events in the system this year. While there is a little point rating by the third plays in the final week, uh, that will be less impactful than it was last year. It should be right in the mid to low 60s. And we can probably make a pretty good prediction on that after our week five tournaments conclude. Yep. Right. So if you've still got yeah. tournaments left to play, you know where you got to get. Yep.